first thing we're going to do is go ahead and import the point cloud from a sample uh, ZDF file into our system memory so that we can visualize it. So there you can see um, the 2D representation of our scene. We have um, a couple of Aruco markers, also called fiducial markers, uh, around uh, many of the objects in our scene. So you can again see here, this is a 1920 by 1200 uh, array. This is again the RGB information. If we switch to the uh, visualization of this, you can see that this is actually a 3D point cloud with that same 2D information overlaid on top of it. So you can either look at um, the 3D information uh, or you can also look at the 2D on top of the 3D information where you get both the depth uh, as well as in the XYZ location as well as the color information. Moving forward, First thing we would want to, uh, the first thing we're going to do here is to use these Aruco markers to define a region of interest. So oftentimes you'll use this um, to define, uh, say, the outer boundaries of a picking bin or the area that you want your robot to look in. Uh, oftentimes you'll have the, the field of view of camera will be larger than the field of view of the scene that you want to see. So using Aruco markers is a very powerful way or a very easy way. Um, to uh, sort of define the corners of the scene that you care about. So we're going to go ahead and use some of OpenCV's uh, uh, functionality to determine where these Aruco markers are. And so we've done that with some Python code. Now, um, in this section of code, we've identified them and marked them on the uh, 2D map. So here you can see we've got colored dots indicating uh, the first four Aruco markers that we can find in our scene. So now that we've done that and we know where these Aruco markers are, we've, we've, we've defined their center points with these colored dots. Um, now let's use those four corners as the corners of a region of interest. So we want to remove all of the data from the outside of that region of interest. And going to the point cloud, you can see we've done that here. Um, the shape of the region of interest is a little uh, irregular, just to show off that um, you can really define the ROI or the region of interest to be any shape that you want. Um, but this is, uh, you know, this is what it looks like when you use those four uh, points before to define a region of interest. So again, um, we found these Aruco markers in the 2D uh, the, using the 2D information and with a simple ROI uh, filtering uh, function, we've applied that information to the 3D information. So that's sort of a very uh, simple uh, de demonstration of, again, mixing the two, uh, the two worlds of 2D and 3D.